All right, quick rundown of my EDC loadout of the GWA Citadel Gen 3. I purchased it in black for work. Any other camo or anything like that would not fly. So prior to running this pack, I ran the Triple Lot Design Axiom 18 for about two years, maybe more. And that thing did everything I needed it to do. But as time goes on, shit pops up in your feed and you start to want to try something else. That's exactly what I did. I wanted, initially I wanted to keep the EDC pack under 20 liters because I have other packs that I use for travel. So I wanted to keep it smaller, but after purchasing this, this thing kept popping up to GWA. I've had other products from GWA that have all been awesome. So I knew that getting this thing was going to be really, really uh, nice. I mean, the, the thing is built well, built like a tank, just like everything else that they make. So I bit the bullet and it's, like I said, it's a small 24 liters. It, it, I'm a small guy and it, and it works. So we'll start with the side pockets. I've just got a Nalgene full size 32 ounce and a Zoku glass core. This bottle is awesome. It's got a glass core inside of it, 16 ounces, so it doesn't hold much, but you can put coffee in there, you can put whatever you want. It's just a nice bottle. In this front stretch pocket, I've got pretty much nothing. Uh, there are three little sections of organization in there that you can keep mags in, AR mags if you wanted to, or whatever. Um, I'm, I have in this front left, I've got just a soft tee wide and that's it just in case you can't ever have too many tourniquets so that's what i run in there that's all i have for now i don't know maybe if like my rain jacket gets wet or something i'll end up using that more or, or i'll find other shit to put in there eventually so for this top organization pocket here i have just a mask an oakley si mask I usually use disposables, but that's just in case I run out. Tape measure in the middle pocket. I've got a Zippo, just a Zippo for fire in case I need it. A Ray Laconico handmade, really nice blade. And then this is the uh, Brian Fellholter, uh, whatever, the tie bolt mini in copper. So it's a nice little bolt action pen also on the other and then I have a sharpie and a streak on this side and then some nicotine pouches as you'll see I'm addicted to fucking nicotine so that's uh, that's the front panel normally in the back I've got a MacBook 13 inch the M1 it's really nice fast works for me uh, that would be right there, and I do plan to get a uh, some kind of armor insert. So I am utilizing the compression straps on the sides. Let's make sure you can see it. And uh, yeah, they work great. And I do like as the uh, as the maker intended, just the two. You don't need any more than than two. If you do, it's it's just an annoyance, and he's right. So pop this open and take a look. So I guess since we're here, sorry if I just knocked the camera. Since we're here, we'll just start with the main compartment. It's pretty straightforward. In here, it's I'm, I'm using Sufdef sandwich bags which are also called tearaway go pouches if you get them directly from GWA. This is just liquid, e-liquid for my vape and coils for my vape. As you can see, they just pop right back in there, out of the way. This one, another sandwich bag, newer generation. I've got some miscellaneous cables and uh, the 65 watt anchor mini charger, which is indispensable to save not only weight but space 
highly recommend picking that up. Props to Taylor Weldon for turning me on to that. Uh, and then I have um, an S-Tac. I forget the exact model of the pouch, but it comes with like a little wraparound thing that has molly and shit on the back of it. I just ripped it off of that. So it's meant to be unclipped and then it's torn off. This just tears right away. Uh, and it's a fully loaded IFAC with um, all of the IFAC contents that I've gone over in other videos. It, it's all in there. So that's, a, that's just an IFAC. This is the Brown Buffalo Muzzle Mask. It's outstanding, such a genius design. I was so stoked when they restocked these because I had been looking for one for probably a year or more. And I finally found one directly from Brown Buffalo. It's got my Glock 19. It's fitted with an X300UB light as well as a Trigicon RMR and suppressor height sights and it fits perfectly in this thing. So it's semi-rigid, hook-backed, it's in there. If I need to get to it, if I need to grab it, it's there. It's a quick little pop of the Velcro and I can get it. This rides right next to me in the car. It comes into work with me. In certain situations at work, I'm unable to carry inside the waistband. That's the next best option, so that's what I do. In the big sandwich bag, this is the large size. I've got a triple out, triple out design Raptor rain shell. Well, I live in Florida, it's hot as shit. It rains all the time, and this is a breathable rain shell that works, and I love it. Top, here I've got, this is a bricks and mortar bento pouch. I have miscellaneous medication here. I keep multivitamins. I keep some liquid IVs if I need it, if I forget them. Same thing goes with the multivitamins. Tylenol. Just miscellaneous meds, just in case. I have a comb, just in case. And this umbrella, which is tiny, but awesome. It's a Fulton. I forget the exact model. It's, it's super small and, it, and it's an actual full-size umbrella. So once you pop it out, uh, it's a full-size umbrella. So if I don't, if it's not pouring, pouring down rain, I, I won't even pull out the, uh, the rain shell. I'll just, just grab this if needed. So that's just that front little pouch that was that actually originally was designed for the Glock, but the way that I'm going to be using this pouch, which I actually will show in a little bit, no one will ever know I have that Glock in there. I'm not going to be opening this clamshell style in front of a bunch of people at work. Um, down in this bottom gusseted pocket, I've got just a boo-boo kit. This has every little thing you need to see ITS tactical boo-boo kit inside there same thing with the uh, pouch that's an ITS tactical pouch anything else yes the anchor power core however many this this thing it, it can charge my iPhone like five times in a row maybe more uh, I can charge my MacBook in one full charge uh, I this thing is indispensable I don't think they sell it anymore in the full metal uh, enclosure but I've had this now for probably five years, maybe a little less than that, four or five, three, I don't know, fuck it, but it's awesome. USB-C out in case I need to charge the phone fast, it does it. And that's pretty much everything. That is my loadout from day to day that is what I'm running. It's simple, straightforward, that's what I love about this pack. The, the, custom, the customizability of the thing is the the best part right so if I decide I need to travel I have two full sets of sandwich bags so you know I can reorganize this thing however I want you know and I can fit way more than just a rain shell in this pouch if I needed to I could I could roll that thing up and put another jacket in there if it gets cold for for the the week that it gets cold in Florida in the winters uh, I have a triple lot design uh, whatever one of their hoodies that, and and that thing's great it's, you know so this can hold more than just a rain shell you know I'm gonna be traveling I'm not gonna probably not gonna be carrying a full eye back with me definitely 
if it's a, if I'm flying on a plane, the Glock's not coming with me, at least not on, in this bag. So it can be reorganized, and, and that's what I really, really like about the design. And to just to make a comparison, I did run the LBT Day Pack for probably probably a month before I got this. And the LBT pack is nice. I have it right here. In fact. And I just want to show real quick. While we're here. Shit. It's from the dirty ass porch. But anyway. You can see. The Citadel takes design cues from not just this OBT pack, but a number of different packs on the market. And I mean, the the LBT, the problem is, it do, I do have a frame sheet in here right now, the LBT frame sheet, which has a soft back, but if I didn't have that in there, that is the problem with the LBT pack. That is the issue. It just doesn't have any structure. There's no so. padding. So, Hello from editing it, I world. Of uses for this. I just, uh, I just want to clarify something real wrong. quick. I uh, I talked to GWA after posting this video, and it turns out that the LBT actually came after the Citadel. Um, I went and I confirmed it. I went online and. The year that the Citadel was released, there was no day pack from LBT. Uh, in fact, the company wasn't structured the way it is now either. There's, there was almost no, uh, they, they, they were not targeting civilians in any way. Um, so I thought that was very interesting, and I wanted to share it. Uh, you know, you know the 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 features between the two are pretty interesting the there's tweeve on the uh, bottle pockets and the backpack straps and even the way that the straps connect to each other uh, it's the same so it turns out that uh, the citadel did not take design cues from the LBT it's the other way around uh, LBT obviously i mean it's obvious especially aesthetically and even functionally in some spots uh, right here i'm just talking about how i ran the lbt for a while and the biggest downside to it uh, as an edc pack is it just doesn't have uh have the organization and the citadel has everything that i wanted um so I'm talking about the mod that I made. I shortened the zipper pulls on the C Citadel. That's the one mod that I did. I do that to all my packs. Uh, and yeah, just basically talking about how versatile the pack is uh, compared to the LBT. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to narrate the rest of this video here and just knock this out real quick. So right now, I think what I'm doing is I'm just... Uh, asking for suggestions it looks like i'm pointing out uh the similarities between the lbt and the citadel which is funny uh and it's it's just hilarious that uh lbt uh came after and i didn't know that and i think a lot of people assume that uh, but uh yeah so if anyone has any recommendations uh for for like you know hookback pouches stuff like that i'm talking to here about how the uh the way that the muzzle mask is mounted it it has to be a little lower in the pack so you can get a grip and pull the the uh the glock out uh, you got to have that room up top so uh, just talking about some of the very small shortcomings of the way that i have it set up currently uh, other than that i i mean i'm just I'm basically asking for recommendations also talking about how uh, if I ever decide to reorganize the pack for travel I'll do another video here I'm talking about how cliff bars I put cliff bars in that front tweeve pocket because I love cliff bars and I live on those fucking things I mean I could live on them I, I, they're great so during the day I put cliff bars in there 
what else we got here? So, yeah, I'm just running it down. It, the best thing about this pack is the fact that it can be loaded out. And here I'm showing it's very easy to get into the pack and grab the Glock if I needed to. It's, it comes with me in the car. It comes with, with me to work. It's a simple unzip, and I just pop in, pop the Velcro, and it's easy to grab. Uh, so that that's what I'm discussing here, uh, and just going over it a little bit, you know, showing how how easy it is with the zippers. The zippers are so nice. They're the best zippers I've ever had on a pack. I did not mention that initially in the video. So anyway, that's about it. If I do reorganize it or anything, I'll do an update video. And, uh, yeah, I, th I mean, I think that's about it. I just wanted to make that clarification. And, uh, yeah, just have fun out there, guys.